Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to highlight cells or a range of cells in a table with conditional formatting. So in this example, let's say I have this range of cells, this table, this three column table here, and there are duplicates here. Well, there's duplicates, but these uh, show based on the SKU some other values here. So for this example, let's say this is a SKU here. Um, let, me, let me show you that there's multiple instances of it. It's Control C to copy. Let me bring up the find and replace window, Control F to bring up the find and replace window. I'm going to find all instances of that. Let me move this up here. Click find all. And now you notice that there are tons of instances here. There's, there's one in D1, cell D1. Of course, that's that one. There's one in A63, which is down here. There's one in A78, which is down here. So you'll see that there's eight different instances of that particular skew in this table. Now, that's one way we can do it to, to show it. But how about just highlighting it, highlighting this whole row in this table for uh, 78, the instance at cell 78, at the instance at uh, row, excuse me, row 78, the instance at row 63, and so on. Well, we can do that with conditional formatting, and I'll show you how to do that. Let me close this. What we need to do first is select my range of data. Let me scroll back up here. I'm going to select it under the header. I've, I found it since if I selected the header in a table, it gave me some strange results. So I selected my range of data here. Let me select this and then press control shift down arrow to select the rest of it. I can go under home conditional formatting, go to new rule, and I'm going to use the last one here where it says use a formula to determine which cells to format. And here for the formula, what we're going to do is set this cell equal to the first instance of that table, that range, which is going to be A5. So I can just select A5, but I need to change this a little bit. Instead of having it say dollar sign A, dollar sign 5, I'm going to remove the dollar sign after the last 5. When this formula gets evaluated for each of the cells, that's going to change. That A5 is going to change to A6, A7, A8. This dollar sign in front of the B1 doesn't make it change. So it's going to stay constant. That's why it's called a, it's called an absolute cell reference. The, this is a mixed cell reference. We want the when, when, when the matching is done in the background, the column is going to stay the same. It's going to stay in column A. But since we don't have a dollar sign in front of the 5, it's going to match and uh, adjust it, move it from A5 to A6, A7, A8, when it looks at this whole range of data. That's what it's really doing in the background. I'm going to click the format and have it fill it the cell yellow when it finds a match. All right? Click OK. And since there's nothing there, it's not going to match. OK, let's see if that worked. I'm going to take that, Control c to copy, and put that in there, Control v to paste. And as we scroll down, we know that our first instance was in row uh, 63, right? 63, and then set row 78, and it's there. And let's see if it worked if I put another value in there, Control c to copy, Control v to paste. And now we see that we have a match there. It highlighted it yellow. And it matched their highlighted yellow. And that looks good. Now, there's a wrinkle to this. What if we had things in mixed case or lower case? You'll notice that this particular match doesn't match on case. So it's fine since everything here is uppercase. But what if it was lowercase and we want to do that kind of match? I'm going to change this to lowercase. So let me just use a lowercase function to turn this all into lowercase. I'll just type lower press tab and then select that, press enter, and it's turned that all into lowercase. Copy, control C to copy, and I'm just going to copy its values so it doesn't copy the formula. So that's all lowercase, press enter, and now you notice, whoops, uh, control Z to undo that. All right, now you notice that it still found that because that particular formula is case insensitive. What if I wanted to make it case sensitive? In, in this case, when it's all lowercase, it shouldn't be a match for that, right? If I wanted to make it case sensitive. What you need to do in our formula or in our conditional formatting is to use a different formula. The formula that I need to do to make the matches case sensitive is a using the function called exact. So I'll use it here. So it's going to be equal exact tab. And the first text, it's going to be that. Let me press the F4 key. So I can put the dollar signs in front of that. It's just a keyboard shortcut to do that. And then comma, text 2, which is this one. 
and that I'm going to just keep as is. Close parentheses, press enter. Now it's going to say it's false, right? If I bring this back, control C to copy, control V to paste, it's going to be true because that's all caps, right? It's not a change to true. Let me undo that because now I want to go back and change it in my conditional formatting. Right? Control Z to undo, Control Z to undo, make it make that a lowercase. I want to use this formula in my conditional formatting instead. So I'm going to take that Control C to copy, press escape. Let me go into the conditional formatting, go to manage rules, and show the rules for the this entire worksheet. This is the one I want. This is the one I just did. I'm going to edit that. Click that. Click edit rule. And this is the, the formula that we added initially, right? So I'm going to change that. Select that, press delete, or just uh, override it. Control V to paste. Now, as I said, as I've done before, that A should be A5, right? Dollar sign, A, and then 5. That's going to be the first instance of this particular range. Click OK, click OK, and now it shouldn't find anything because that's all lowercase right so it shouldn't be there now if I took uppercase control C to copy control V to paste it should highlight it now and it's true it does highlight it again if I took the lowercase control C to copy and then paste values here don't paste the formula that goes away so that's the way that we can highlight values like in a range or a table uh, using the conditional formatting both if we didn't really care about the case in our values or if we really did care about the case uppercase lowercase we can use the exact function in the conditional formatting formula so I hope that helps thanks for watching